Thank you. A Melbourne comedy duo have gone viral with a video aimed at making breastfeeding in public more acceptable. It's the tongue-in-cheek video poking fun at a controversial topic, imagining what the world would be like if men were treated the same as breastfeeding mums. Excuse me, sir. The women are uncomfortable with the man eating alone. Could we move you somewhere else? In just a couple of weeks, the video has taken the world by storm, gaining more than 200,000 views and making international headlines. Could I have a napkin, please? Sure. How many do you want? How about these two blokes? Behind the video, Michael Griffith and Shane Crompton. They join us now from Melbourne. Michael, you and Shane are tram drivers by day, but you've been posting these comic videos to Facebook since May. So let's talk about this breastfeeding one. How'd it come about? Um, I uh, had another guy say to me, why don't uh, you do uh, something about breastfeeding, another tram driver? And I just liked the challenge of it. And uh, I came up with an idea. I told Shane and... Uh, we organised it and we did it. It only took an hour or so, but it was magical. Even uh, the lady uh, breastfeeding the baby, we, we didn't have one. We wanted one, but she was actually outside the uh, toilet. As Remember that, Shane? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, there at the table in the toilet staring down at my uh, papa dums and uh, heard this baby crying and, uh, and we went out and uh, courageously she came in and she uh, did a complete stranger. Wow. Yeah, wow. and I, so it was all magical. I yeah. love this video. I have been that woman breastfeeding in the toilet. It is not glamorous. Shane, as we mentioned, That's the right. video has gone viral. What feedback have you had? Uh, apart from all the beautiful blonde uh, Russian women sending me uh, friend requests, <laughs> which I'm, I'm not, too, not too sure what that's about, and neither is my wife, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's, the, the feedback has been positive, uh, fantastic, and it's really quite uh, surreal. Um, yeah, I, I just uh, I can't believe it. I, well, I've always acted the clown, and uh, this is what I'm copying now as a result. But isn't that a great <laughs> thing, Michael? Because this has been a very hot-button topic. People are very divided on this, although I think it's becoming more pro than anti. So often, you know, comedy helps us talk about it and sort of accept these things better. Is that a, a great outcome to what you were trying to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I'm was. i actually surprised it's still a major issue now. I, I, th I thought a few breastfeeding mothers might like the video, uh, but I, I don't believe in our day and age that it's still an issue. I mean, if uh, I, I, uh, I find it like this is an issue for the mother and the baby. If she's comfortable breastfeeding, the baby's hungry, feed it. It actually has nothing to do with me. If you're offended, turn away. And if you're really offended, well, Get some seek therapy. therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you've you, you certainly yeah. got some issues. We, yeah. need, we need more men like you. So, Shane, you now have this global audience. Will you be quitting your jobs as tram drivers? What's next for you guys? Not quite ready to go off the rails as yet. We, uh, <laughs> we love our job and uh, uh, we're staying on track. But this is something we do outside of work, weekends, whatever, when we've got a day off. And uh, we've got a lot more planned. Uh, Michael's written a great one on um, deep, deep soul minor, is it? Uh, it's just about male about? depression, yeah, which is yeah. more an issue that we, uh, we know serious, more about. It's <laughs> a serious issue and... Uh, and hopefully, you know, we could get on board with Beyond Blue and do something like that. Uh, but it's uh, just enjoying the ride. But yeah, it's the dream it's for you guys, you know, when you got together and started doing this, is to actually do more and actually, you know, reach a larger audience with more topics like this. I mean, do you like the sort of theme-based comedy? Uh, yeah, I do. I, uh, I started it with another actor, Greg, and what we were trying to do was show that uh, people our age, because we were hitting 50, that's why they're called Grizzlemans, uh, can still be pertinent, funny mm. and, uh, and original. And that's what we wanted to show. And um, now suddenly this is happening, so it's, it's fantastic. But that, that's what we wanted to do. We do. And a lot of people our age are actually on Facebook. They're bored, and it's all so sad and gloomy that we thought we'd try uh, cheer Liven them up. it up a bit and, and maybe, you know, uh, uh, the absurdity of some of these topics uh, bring the comedy out. Yeah. And mm. now we've got a big crew. Now there's a, a big group of us. There's about eight or nine other actors, and... Everyone's everyone's really onto it. It's it's quite a joyous thing, and oh. they're, they're really great fun to make. And they're made and posted in a couple of hours because we don't have time to really spend hours and hours and hours or days on them. So I think we you guys are onto doing. something, and we are very thrilled to speak to you before you go global again. Check out more of the Grizzlemans videos. You can head to their Facebook page. Michael and Shane, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back Thank on you. the rails, I go. <laughs>
<laughs> I love the fact they call it that. I love it's comedy, else. but it's also a very serious message. And I think a lot of mums out there particularly appreciate this particular video because, as they said, it shouldn't be a topic, but it still is a topic. I've got two small children and I face this all the time. It's stupid. It's it stupid is, that we even have to think about it. It is stupid, but it's a reality. So I'm glad this is getting a bit of traction and people can finally go, this is absolutely ridiculous. Why are we making an issue of it? I hear so good on them.